How's life? It's going. <laughs> is it going? It is what it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I yep. hear that. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Anything new? Wait. I know there's something new because even though I wasn't on the show last week, I was the one that got it and uploaded it to Mixcloud, yeah. so I heard some things. And we didn't have, I wasn't here, so we didn't have the round of applause, but Big Dookie is back in the house! <laughs> They haven't really been calling him Big Dookie lately. Well, that's Trav. That's, they've, that's they've been calling him the Dirty Bubble more than anything. That's a travesty. I, I heard you say that. It's a travesty and blasphemy. Why is he the Dirty Bubble? Why is he's that not, a thing? He's not the most hygienic person. Oh, God. So he doesn't, he doesn't shower? No, he showers, but I've just, I've just heard stories. <laughs> Enlighten us, please. Well, like he's he's kind of has like a perpetual cough. Oh well, I, I which, know. Which uh, which during with when COVID first started, oh yeah, that was scary well, to be around. I can him. imagine, yeah, yeah. But as I get older, and thanks to two bouts with COVID, I have like a cough that sneaks up on me every so often. So it's it's understandable. It has nothing to do with hygiene, as long as you're not coughing all over people or all all over I'll, stuff. I'll tell you a story off air because I just <laughs> I don't want to tell it on air because it's. Yeah. Well, you you updated us on two things because Big Big Dookie was also a pipeline to another beloved person, and we found out that Billy Bob Poop Pants is out of jail. Yep. Is that correct? Well, that's another round of applause. So it's only a matter of time before, it's before he... it happens again, no, or, or or he comes back. Yeah. Before it comes he, back yeah. to work at Levancey yeah. Lawn Johns. Yeah. Because why not? Yeah. I mean, the the qualification for that job's breathing. Yeah. No. He only doesn't yeah. stop talking so. <laughs> or pooping. Or no, he does stop. Then he carries it through the <laughs> through the main hall. I can't believe he's yeah. I can't. I I uh, oh. was trying to do. <laughs> I was trying to do yikes impression. Oh, that's what he sounds like. Well, a yikes impression. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He he has like a slight lisp. Oh. It's very it's barely detectable. We're not making fun of anyone with lisps, but no. this 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 is one of Pork's but, but co-workers. Was, but it was especially but it was especially funny to just. Well, I can't say it because it's super vulgar. <laughs> Okay, well then, yeah, yeah don't say well, it. Well, That's I an off-air story. I can't story. believe the mother effer est himself. <laughs> we'll say it like that. You know what? We can't believe it either. <laughs> but it's a thing that ha- it's a thing that happened. Yeah, it is a thing. Let's do spots. <laughs> no, we haven't even just to do it. it. No, why? We don't. We don't, don't do know. spots this early. If we're gonna leave, we're gonna go do the music. Oh, hey, did Blink One Eight Two have any '90s covers? Any ninety Co- songs? Pretty covers. Ninety songs. Well, ninety songs. Yeah, they did that. That album, Animal um, uh, of the State. Was yeah, ninety. It was ninety nine. Ninety nine. So, okay, uh, let's all- play that in honor of the of the kid who went to the Blink One Eighty Two concert while his stepfather was on the submarine. Um. No. No, we we and we'll need to talk about that some too. Um. Uh, a lot of callous people on social media. No. I, I know it's a billionaire. No. And I know I have no sympathy for him, but I'm not cheering somebody's death. No, either. but we're gonna we're gonna get into that. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna applaud somebody's death. Uh, if Elon Musk dies, ooh. I'm not gonna cheer, but I'm not gonna cry. I'm either. not gonna. Cry. Well, I, like like I wasn't upset about this. Either. Okay, let's get into it. Listen, when you have money, it doesn't necessarily mean you need to pump it into getting into a cocoon and going to the bottom of the ocean or getting into a cocoon and going into space, you can just, why don't you use that money for good, you know? Why don't you give your employees a bonus? Or, or you know, find a way to start, I don't know, a, an organization that can help homeless people or, or battered yeah. women or homeless or, you know, orphans, something that can help society. Because, yeah, though I did not cheer the deaths of these people because no one, no one deserves to die especially in a brutal way that they did, uh, I don't feel upset because they're, they're millionaires doing millionaire things. They, a billionaire. Huh? A billion. Excuse one of them me. Was a, one of them was a billionaire. We'll just call it billionaire. Then they're billionaires doing billionaire things. You know, this whole thing was just another rubbing in the face of people like us. It was like, look what we get to do. You'll never get to do this because you'll never have this, time, this kind of money. So we're going to go do this. And then, look, you know, you play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And that's what, that's what ended up happening to the ocean, whatever it's called, people who, you know. Titanic claims five more lives. Would you, would you have thought 111 years after that damn thing sank that it would still be taking lives? Uh, 
No. No, no. The answer is no. Haunted. I I don't think it's haunted, but uh, it it has bad juju. That's for sure. I wouldn't get anywhere near that wreckage. Yeah, that was. I feel like Rose was involved in that submarine. No, it was Jack because he realized. No, I think that was Rose. She she didn't let the (laughs) submarine on the on the big door. No, I was what I was getting ready to say. She let them die. Is that Jack realized you can cram five people into that little cocoon thing, and he could have fit on that door. Maybe yeah, after all that, he was very—he was just shocked. By no, that I, I'm just—I'm just imagining Rose floating on the door, and then like the <laughs> submarines up at the top. It's like, can I just climb on? She's like, there's not enough room. You think you, you, you think the door is what the thing hit that make it implode? Yeah, exactly. Mm, that may have been it. Yeah. Again, we're not cheering the deaths of any of these people. It's horrible, that, and my hearts go out to their families. But again, especially to the stepson who had to who had oh. to calm himself by going to the Blink One Eighty Two concert. That was. I still. I don't really. Honestly, like, I I would just say, hey, if you're under stress, go to a concert, do mm -hmm. do what you need to. But he posts about it on Facebook, saying like, I know that my step stepfather would want me to go to this Blink One Eighty Two concert. Again, like, man, don't say that. Again, like, I can't defend you you anymore. You know why? Because they're rich people and they don't know how to. They're just tone deaf. They're tone deaf. They don't know how to connect to people like us. I know my father would want me to go to Cancun. It's like well, it's like it's like Ted Cruz. Like, He's like I, I know my my uh, constituents would want me to go to Cancun. Cancun. They I know they want because they don't they don't understand real people. Yeah, meanwhile, they don't understand that. Meanwhile, so people are posting like angry TikToks. Like, man, there's an icicle in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, Ted Cruz. <laughs> Man, there's an icicle in my living room. 